The Denton Explorer is a six-pocket e-beam evaporator system used to coat samples with various metals. A high-intensity beam of electrons is focused on the center of a crucible containing the material to be evaporated. Unlike sputtered films, evaporators only coat the surface facing away from the substrate. E-beam evaporators will provide very little coating to the sides of any features that are perpendicular to the surface of the substrate. In a typical process, the chamber is pumped down to a pressure of 3 times 10 to negative 6 torr to increase the mean free path. Mean free path of a gas molecule is the average distance the molecule travels before it collides with another. This prevents air molecules from interrupting metal atoms as they travel from the evaporation source to the substrate. Then, the metal is heated to the point of vaporization by high-intensity beam of electrons. This causes the metal to evaporate and the metal molecules travel in a straight line to be deposited onto the substrate. Typical deposition rates range from 1 half to 5 angstroms per second. Endpoint detection is implemented through the Infinicon XTC2 Quartz Crystal Ray Controller interface to programmable logic controller. New users will initially be limited to 3 angstroms per second for the maximum rate. It is also important to note that precious metals such as gold and platinum will be limited to 500 nanometers per run. To prevent risk of personal injury, it is important to note the various sources of personal injury associated with this equipment. These include coming into contact with a hot sample or plate, or improper operation of the machine. Thus, one should take care to let samples cool for at least 10 minutes before venting the chamber, and also to not stare at the beam for any extended amount of time. You should also note that users are not allowed to change system settings unless approved by staff. Now let's go over the various parts of the Denton Explorer e-beam evaporator. The chamber holds the sample and is pumped down and sealed during a process run. The overview screen allows the user to download recipes and run a process. Most of the operations are performed on the overview screen. Finally, the deposition controller allows the operator to change the thickness and deposition rate. It also displays the crystal life percent. However, this information is also displayed on the overview screen as well. Before you can begin using the Denton Explorer, you must first log into the system at the access controller. Once you have done this, you may begin operation. To begin loading a sample, click Recipe on the overview screen. Then click Master Recipe and Open. Open a vent.dat file and click Download to download the recipe to vent the chamber. If the file name appears under Active Recipe, click Close. Next, click Overview in order to get to the initial screen. Then click Start. When the chamber has finished venting, you may open the chamber. After you open the chamber door, vacuum inside of the chamber, then place your sample in the sample holder frame and slide it in. You may need to use the motor rotation control button to adjust the holder frame's position. Back on the overview screen, click open shutter and then enter the crucible number that holds the desired metal. If the crucible holds enough metal, click close shutter on the overview screen. Then before closing the chamber, Check on the deposition controller to make sure that the crystal life is at a value less than 15. If it is greater than or equal to 15, you will need to replace the crystal sensor. Once you have checked on the crystal sensor, close the chamber door and secure it with the lever. To pump down the chamber, click Recipe and then Open under the File Options. Select the recipe apump.dat and hit Open, Download, and then Close. When the pump process is over, a notice will appear at the top reading Auto Process Complete. The Start button will also change from green to gray. To begin running the process, click Recipe again at the overview screen, then click Edit slash Create. Click Open under File Options and open the desired recipe. For the purposes of this training video, we will be using CR.DAT. Edit the deposition rate and final thickness for your run and click Save. Open the recipe name that you just edited on Master Recipe. Download the recipe and hit Close. Next, 
click Overview and click Start to begin the process. If the process does not start and Standby keeps appearing on the Overview screen, click Abort and click Start again. If you wish to add another layer with a different metal, you must wait two minutes before depositing again. After the process is done, make sure to allow the system to cool down for 10 minutes before venting the chamber. After waiting, vent the chamber by loading the recipe and then carefully removing your sample. Then take the time to clean and vacuum the chamber before pumping the chamber down and logging out of the user system. Note that platinum and gold source metals need to be weighed before and after each process. Minimum weight for platinum is 30 grams and minimum weight for gold is 25 grams. You should now have a good understanding of how to operate the Denton Explorer EPM evaporator to deposit various metal thin coatings. You should be able to vent the system, load your samples into the system, pump the system down, load a recipe, and run the process. If you have any further questions, please contact the trainer for this equipment. Thank you for watching.